Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Motivational Rant. I am your host, Dean of Genetic Marvel. With me, as always, my co-host, Crystal Morenci. Good morning, Crystal. How are you today? <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this anymore, this start of it, the way it is. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, good morning, Crystal. And how are you today? It sounds more and more aggressive. I should point. How are you? You doing today? What are you? How are you? I think that's fair. That's what it kind of like seems like. It gets more and more aggressive as these days progress. That sounds about right. Sounds about right. I, uh, I, I, I'm gonna just leave it alone though and let him be mad with his bad self. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mad at all. I'm just, I'm just no, living the dream. No, so peachy. I'm living, living the, dream. the dream. It's what I do. Living the dream, stressing himself out. Absolutely. He's gonna give himself a fucking heart attack. Third, whatever. And <laughs> then Crystal's gonna be the co-host of somebody else's morning motivational rant. <laughs> Victoria's morning motivational rant. How did I just get fired from my own show? That doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just had a heart attack because you just gave yourself a heart attack. I, I, that's not. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, I'm, Nino. I'm getting fired. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Until I got fired from my own show. <laughs> that's that's useful. Um, yeah, no, I'm good. I uh, so <laughs> last night. <coughs> Uh, somebody posted a tweet that said, uh, replace the first four letters of all your names with fuck. And then people started commenting. <laughs> so I'm like, I would be fuck fucksus. And I'm like, that's a great name. So I, I put it on Instagram and people were like, definitely. And then a friend, he got, uh, <laughs> his, his name is very, he's a white guy. Uh, his name, uh, is a very white guy name. It's very... You know? And uh, he was like, my new name is Fuck Fuckly. And I'm like, how did you get whiter <laughs> with replacing it with fuck? I'm like, Fuck Fuckly? Are you kidding me? That's fantastic. This is all on... I'm fuck NC. <laughs> <laughs> your fuck offense. My show's your fancy. Your fuck fuck. Your fuck fucking see. That is quite fancy. I'm fuckle fucking see. I'm fuckle fucking see. <laughs> oh, how are you? I'm fuckle fucking see. And you are fuckle fucking see of the fun fucking seas <laughs> of Germany. Uh, we are a long family. It's not line. German. Why not? It's not German. <laughs> One guy, an Italian friend of mine, who's been a great supporter mm -hmm. of the show and everything. He. Uh, Thank you. He. Uh, he replaced his, and it, essentially every one of his names ended with like an Ido or an S. So he's like, apparently now I'm Japanese. <laughs> this, this is bullshit. And I'm like, dude, it looked Japanese. I was like, this was inc it was incredible. I'm like, this is fantastic. It looked so good. Um, Fakito. That was his first name. Was Fakito. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, That's awesome. It was so good. It was so good. And then uh, <laughs> after that, so the this is what happened. Okay, so. I used to go, when we used to go out for dinner, in those times gone by, uh, yeah. I went to, once upon a time, once upon a time <laughs> before the writings took place, I don't know. This, this will be in our Bible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there was, I would go to this place called Pan on the Danforth, uh, and now it's moved, and it's now called Sula's. Uh, it's only a few doors down, but it's a fantastic restaurant. Essentially, what happens is there's no such thing as fine dining in Greek culture. It's kind of eat and fuck off, right? <laughs> um, and that's why it's like dinner time is usually like at like 9, 10 o'clock. And that's like a oh. three hour thing where you just sit, you drink, you eat, mm -hmm. you talk. Like it's a whole, it's an event, you know? And that's I love about that about my culture because it's just it's so uh, you just feel good you know it's it's an in culture like in Greek culture there the majority of, of Greece it gets too hot in the afternoon especially during the summertime to work it's just it's too hot you'll die like it's yeah. so like it's it's an environment and a culture that that encourages like that afternoon siesta breaking up your day and 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 it, it's yeah. fantastic cause I enjoy it thoroughly but. 
one of the things is this place, Sula's, it has the best, uh, best, uh, uh, um, uh, mixture of fine dining and traditional Greek cuisine that I've ever had in, in Canada. Oh. Um. Sula's? Yeah. So, Sula. now, the best part is that, like, they'll have wine pairing, like, they do, they like, go the full nine yards, but the food still tastes like Greek food. Now, one of the things I don't, I don't <laughs> like to eat lamb in general, because it always tastes gamey. Because if you cook it right, like my mom cooks it, like Sula's cooks it, it is not gamey at all. Okay? And it's delicious. Now, Victoria, um, made me a dish yesterday, and it was essentially, it was kind of like, uh, a version of the meal I get at Sula's. But with like just like normal instead of lamb, it had beef and stuff. But it was it was fucking delicious. Each thing was taken, and the whole thing. This meal that I get, it's it's char grilled loin of lamb at Sula's. Is essentially each component is tasty, but when you combine them all, it kind of creates this symphony in your mouth. It's very delicious, <laughs> and it's and it's no, it's it's one. It's a very it's not a big meal, but it's very enjoyable. It's very fulfilling. And, and after it, because it has a lot of mashed potatoes in it too, it's, you feel content and satisfied. It's a beautiful thing. And that's the hard part, like with big meals is you'll eat and still not be satisfied. Like you eat McDonald's and you're like, I'm not, I'm still hungry for vitamins, you know? So Victoria made this for me and I was like, this is so good. Now, after that, because I was still high as fuck, I was like, I'm hungry. And she's like, well, how about a healthy snack instead of eating something bad? So I was like, how about some uh, mm. Breton crackers with uh, uh, laughing cow cheese on it. And she's like, <laughs> okay, fine. How many? I said six. It's great. <laughs> now, if you go to my Dino the Genetic... Six laughing cows too? Yeah. Okay. I am a man. Okay. So, anyways. No, no, it got worse. Trust me. And by worse, I mean <laughs> awesomer. It definitely got awesomer. <laughs> so I tweeted at, or I, I posted a picture on Instagram, was, I was like, what did my wife do? I'm like, we're sitting here, we're watching the John Wick trilogy last night, and, Ooh. yeah, which was great, and I'm like, my wife surprised me, kind of, I'm like, so I took a picture of the plate, and I'm like, it's a circle topped with smaller circles topped with triangles, <laughs> I'm like, that is some white <laughs> shit, okay? And, yeah, that is. And then a buddy of mine is like, with a square napkin, I'm like, and the circles are shaped like a triangle! <laughs> so, <coughs> a ton of people commented on it, uh, a ton of people liked it, a ton of people were like, you are treated like a king, and I'm like, I am a fucking king! That is some white lord. shit. And Victoria... She made him a lord. Victoria's comment <laughs> is like, is just a face palm, and I'm like... I'm like, King, king Life, I'm like, hashtag King Life isn't possible without hashtag wife shit. Okay? <laughs> and the funny thing is, she's like, how are you going to post the crackers and cheese I give you and not post the meal that I made for you? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. Now, it got worse because what I in turn did was I asked her, because I was still very high and I wanted a snack, and they were so delicious. <laughs> I was like, can I have some more? She's like, how many? I'm like, same. And then I con oh. and then I posted it again and I'm like, I'm like, what is it? It's Friday night? That's right. King Life struck again, motherfuckers. Okay? I'm like, what is this? She gave me a circle, topped with smaller circles, shaped like a triangle, <laughs> all topped with hashtag urban garlic triangles that is some hardcore <laughs> wife shit she leveled up her wife shit and uh, and people enjoyed that people enjoyed that as well so i was pretty happy i gotta start creeping people's social medias more often aka yours <laughs> i don't go on social media like i go and i post our shit and that's it that's the end of it i don't like read any i'm too like self-absorbed i guess i'm like <laughs> Let's look back. She had a painting of me. She's like, well, I'm not going to creep out your social media, but I'm going to paint your okay. face. <laughs> I took lots of pictures off of it, but that was it. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> and I zoomed in on them. 
and I blacked out everything around them, so that way it was just your face. Okay. Straight up hey. serial killer mode. What's up? <laughs> I'm gonna do more faces. Make all the faces. <laughs> yeah, do yeah. it because this will be on the video and then you're gonna yell at me. Why is my face all scrunched up in that painting? Because that's what every fucking picture that you have looks like. Like that. Mm -mm. Because I was watching one of the videos where I had your picture in the background and I'm like, that fucker, that totally looks like him. Why is he trying to like... It looks, it I looks like I'm really angry though. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you look like in these videos. No, I'm not angry. I'm, not, I'm peaceful. I'm a peaceful giant. I'm a peaceful giant. Hey, Dito. Hi. Dito, do you want to know what a good influence you are on me? Oh, uh, I don't see this going well, but okay. <laughs> this is well. For fuck's sakes, people. I'll be honest with you, the Crystal. Crystal, you, you've bamboozled me a couple times like this. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're like, you know why it's so great? And I'm like, why? He's like, because you're a piece of shit. That's why. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I'm not, I'm, I, I was born horrible. No, okay. I've spent 40 years okay, trying to become so, good. Yes. So you've influenced me and now I'm educating myself. So you've influenced me in pursuing an education. I'm not sure that I so want to be held responsible for this. I'm not sure I want to be responsible for this. There's one. I also have purchased a car, so there's two stepping on up in the world. And I went and started to file my taxes. Don't today. don't hold up those papers to a camera. Do not, <laughs> don't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> what? <one>? See. <laughs> I feel... I did it to your camera! Wait a second, no, it's cool! I was doing it over here! This camera's over here! Woo! Okay, <laughs> we're saved! <laughs> okay. But do you know, um, I went and filed my taxes today so that way I could be a legitimate human being like you. <laughs> That's so I'm getting an education. I got my car. I did my taxes. I think that you're making me with society. I'm on the internet daily now. Oh. I'm studying economics. I'm studying history. Oh. I'm studying religion in all forms and shapes. Mm. Studying humankind. I realize that maybe shouldn't people should not praise this Darwin fella. Mm -mm. Not awesome. Not a great guy. Not a great guy. <laughs> I don't want to be held responsible for these things. I feel like they not like. I feel like you you created this is like. This how you said. But this is how you like because you say like proper people. So I'm trying to be proper. Oh, like your people. See, <laughs> there's okay. See, that's where it was. That's, that's it. That's right there. So it's not very nice. What? No, because you're like, well, you're like everyone else, and I want to be like everyone else, no, so I want to be like you. No, I said I want to be... Yeah, because... Oh, my God, I can't win, because he judges me if I'm not like that, and then judges <laughs> me if I'm trying to be like that. Like, really? When can I win? Listen, I make fun of you. Because I'm trying not to be a degenerate make like you make me out to be. So then, uh, so I was trying to be smart. And so I'm trying to educate myself on the things that you're educated on. Let's and I'm trying to be legitimate in giving shit. So now I'm legitimate. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not a funny topic. Okay, Crystal? It is. It's really it not. Is. No, because... Why is it not funny it, to it be legitimate? Really, it, it's not funny. It really, it's responsible. I'm being responsible. I'm being a responsible adult and part of human society. I don't understand what your problem is with this. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought you would be happy for me. Um, now you're shaking your head. I'm like, um, wow, I thought this was going to be a really good podcast. Because I thought Dino was going to be like, you know what, Crystal? I appreciate you paying attention to me. I appreciate you respecting me enough in order to want to be like me. Because this is what I thought that he wants every, like... This is what you say in the all every single show, and now I do it, and now you're like, "No, Crystal, it's not very nice." To, well, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. 
I feel like this video is going to be exhibit God, A. I honest to God thought that you were going to be really proud of me, I'm, I'm, to be honest. I w like, I, I was honest very, to God I was, thought that was how listen, it was going to go. Let's, so okay. now I'm really disappointed in that. <laughs> this, this is going to be an episode where she explains how she's disappointed in me once again. Okay, let's go through that. No! Oh, my God. I don't uh, know what to say right now. Whose pantyhose are tighter than... Oh, I just wanted you to say, hey, I'm proud of you. For getting your shit together. That's all. I... <laughs> I'm very, but well, now would, you made it I'm into very something proud else. Of you. I'm very proud of you. Okay. Because you've yeah. you've had those goals for a while, and now they're all happening. That's fantastic news. Uh -huh. I'm just worried that 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 there's gonna this video is gonna be Exhibit A. They're like, when she ran somebody over, <laughs> she got that car because of him. That guy did it. <laughs> that guy made her drive. And I'd be like, what? I've been driving before this. Shh. I just uh, had to get a car and stuff. <laughs> She's like a new one. I feel I feel Lana like I'm I'm being held a lot more responsible than I actually am responsible. Like I'm not a responsible person. I I'm not. just wanted to give you some gratitude, but that's cool. I think <laughs> we've I think we've covered. I receive gratitude in the payment of pies. That's my thing. That's how I. Well, then you have a pie, a bourbon a pumpkin pie coming your way, Mister. I I appreciate that. I appreciate that greatly. See, I appreciate you, motherfucker. I know you do. <laughs> no, I'm that's, those are all, Listen, those are all happy things. I'm I'm like, very excited for you. Uh, uh, it's 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 more so that it's like see the thing okay, this is you have Oh, to, I get it cuz you think because I hate society and I yes. don't want to be like society yes. that I'm blaming you for making me yes. a part of society. Now you got it. Okay. I got it, but no, that's not what's happening. So I feel like I'm trying to fit into this society. I love human beings. I just want to fit in. And my jealousy of not fitting in is what makes me feel res like resentment. But that's all it is. It's not that I resent humans, it's that my I have resentment because I don't fit in, and it's jealousy of wanting to fit in. We were so now you influence me to want to fit in because you're helping me fit in. You're putting me on the line, and you're... <laughs> I, I stole that from somewhere on the line. I don't know where, but, like, and then, um, fuck, I, I wish I could give them credit because that was cool. <laughs> on the line. You're putting me on the line, uh. like on the internet. <laughs> You get it on the line. <laughs> For the ninth time, I got it. I got it. I get it loud and clear. Everybody got it. Everybody got that joke the first time. The subsequent times, they said, I don't think she gets it. <laughs> this is why it got funny. So, <laughs> she's wearing some sort of, like, I don't know. What is that? A fucking... <laughs> it's a poncho? Cold. You're wearing, she's wearing a poncho, yeah. people. I don't know how to deal with people wearing ponchos. It's very... <laughs> my grandpa calls it my horse blanket. And then I had on my big tall boots today. And he's like, you got on your riding boots and your horse blanket. That's actually, that is exactly something I would say. See, I, I have, I'm a firm believer that I was supposed to be born in a different generation. Like, because I look at stuff very, very... Like, you walk in like that, I'm like, even there, cow lady, what the fuck are you doing today? <laughs> Like, that's instantly what would happen. I would just be like, oh, I tell you what. <laughs> I don't, yeah. That's very, well, I'm very, I'm very happy for you. I am terrified that you. when you start to become like society and then you're like, this is your fault. I feel like this is a very long-winded version of that uh, play. Um, what is the play where the lady learns how to talk? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not there yet to my education. <laughs> we haven't developed the arts yet. We're still trying to figure out finances and human beings. Philosophy. My Fair Lady. This is the longest edition okay. of My Fair Lady ever. <laughs> and she's just going to piss on me later. She's just like, fuck you. What's it called? My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady. Okay, I'll have to this look is, that up. This is not putting me in a good light. I am, this is not a good Why? I'm looking up what you people know. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is... Mm, I'm not part All of society you either. educated folks. I'm not... Yeah, okay, I'm educated. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not really educated. I'm more, you know, like I've just been involved in stuff. I, like on the and side then, uh, Well, I'm educating myself. As I was should. looking up the Unabomber. <laughs> so there's, there's a really, really good... Um, 
oh, yeah. uh, documentary on Netflix. I really wish you could be you could come over to watch that kind of stuff because the, the docu Netflix. well no but the documentaries <laughs> on some of it and on Prime Video are fucking great and I hunt them down and some of them are great. I love documentaries. Yeah, well, this is all I watch all day is documentaries. And that's why it's like <laughs> I, I haven't watched like a show show in forever. I just watch our show yeah. and documentaries. <laughs> I haven't even been able to watch some Joe Rogan lately. I've been too, like, occupied learning about everything. You know what? He had a couple episodes. Of, so, I watched the one with Lex Friedman. Did you watch it? A little bit. It's, a little so bit to pieces. It doesn't... Okay, so... Le Lex Friedman's cute, but I could get bored of him. His voice. Oh, I can see that. And I think he'd be really boring in bed. Or really good, I don't know, but... Anyways. <laughs> he wears so, a suit off, too. The thing this is that he... Me. He very much doesn't, um, uh-oh, the video, is, I think it's the, it's reconnecting. I'm sure it's my side. The, it just dropped the point is second. this, that it says connecting he's video. works on AI and but a bunch of stuff. this is through Messenger. But, Dino's gonna get uh, upset, they didn't really so talk about okay, that until the end, and I was kind of frustrated. Right like, now, it would have cut out about fun. 10 times by now. I don't know what's happening. We're 20 minutes in, so we'll take it. It says connecting video. Connecting video. It'll happen. There, there he go. is. Call again. I'm going to call him back. Look, there he Hi. is. Hi. There I am. So, Hello. Uh, I was just saying how the Lex Friedman one. So Lex Friedman works on AI and all that kind of stuff. And they didn't really talk about AI until like the very end. And I was like, that's kind of boring. But well, look, he does more than that. I don't care. That is not what I showed up for. He talks about everything, politics, everything. He has a lot of different people on his show. A lot of scientific, but he does, like, philosophy and everything. Have you watched his show? I'm subscribed to him. Even though he wears a suit. That troubles me. <laughs> I don't want you to change. I don't want you to change. I don't want you to change. I'm not. I, I don't I'm know. not changing. I'm still gonna be me. Okay, well, I, I definitely a little bit more I, educated. I definitely don't want you to wear the 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 poncho every day. That I definitely don't want. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna ask you to change. Like, you can change that. That's for sure. I'm looking like a librarian. I'm oh, wearing blouses. Very. This is a sophisticated. You, very. It's freaking me out. Poncho. <laughs> it's very much. It's very very. It's very respectable. And like, it, thank you. It looks very. It's got sleeves on it, but it doesn't have sleeves. It's a proper poncho. It's got designs on it freaking me out yeah i was tempted i am I was, sophisticated bitch uh, gino let me tell you <laughs> see i, I told you, you i'll still you, be me i think you are sophisticated <laughs> i think you have great skills and great intelligence i've i've said that more than once i think people would agree <laughs> wink wink what is that who are you winking to I don't know. <laughs> to whoever would agree. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um. You don't know what? <coughs> Just wink with it. Yeah. <laughs> um. How are you? So what have you been doing? So what are your plans for an hour? I just hit myself in the face with my cord. That was What are your plans for the day? That was a treasure <laughs> that will give to my life forever. Like, what are you? Ow! Um, Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting. Oh my god. So I just paused it on our video for a minute because you started calling. And my face is not a good face to be paused on. <laughs> or is it a great face to be paused on for others? <laughs> no, because I'm like this. I'm like. <laughs> so, guys. <laughs> Today's episode, okay, just, you get a free pose, I guess. <laughs> it looks like I've literally just been cupped in the face on. Like, <laughs> with the big F.U. in the background. I love my F.U. She lets people know how I really feel. Yeah. <laughs> and I love your cat. I know, I've know. i been noticing looking at the cat every time. I'm like, the fact that I can't see him when I'm talking to you, oh, but the and then I'll watch <laughs> the videos, and I'm like, that's there the whole time? It's the whole time. 
has just been standing there. And I got to I got to It's so Victoria creepy to, though. No, it's so it's creepy. It's cool as hell. It's so creepy. It's so cool. But it looks like it's somebody's going to start walking around in it. Oh, definitely. Like one day you got to get Victoria like just to sit in it. Like is it a costume? Is it oh, a costume? At the top like, is. Can you put it on? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got her to just sit there one day and then like halfway through just get up and move and go do something. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Oh, she'll do it. She will. <laughs> she'll, walk in, she'll walk in wearing the cat mask. I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, hey, what's up? And we're like, that's not cool. That's not nice. <laughs> I think that's super cool. It definitely freaks. No, because it would be just so cool because like I'm waiting for it to get up and do something. So if randomly we like everybody was watching this and they always see the cat outfit and then randomly the cat just gets up and does something that would trip the balls out of me and a lot of our viewers, I believe. I At least so. my fan viewers, not the ones that <laughs> they would trip their balls. Chances are they're tripping balls. <laughs> Some are tripping balls, others are tripping on their balls. It's different. There's an age group. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, I still remember uh, that. I'm like, dude, you're 47. He's like, I'm, uh, or I'm like, dude, you're 48. He's like, I'm 47. That's the issue? 50, really? wasn't it 50? Yeah, 57, Seven? yeah, 57. Yeah, it was super old. Because I know it was like my stepdad's age. Yeah, <laughs> which is like super inappropriate. Like, not okay. If they can be your, okay. I think that's the fair guideline. If they can be your children, that's not for you. Yep. You know? And I don't want to, mm. I'm not ageist. I'm no, I'm, love comes in all forms, you know? But, you know, within... What about, like, if, like, they were your children, like, back in, like, the 40s and stuff when people were having kids really young? It's, like, 15 years younger, too much? <laughs> uh, 14? You know what? That's... It's creepy, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's, like, on both sides. <laughs> you said that, yeah, too pleasurably. It was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like on both sides like you think it's creepy for like a guy and a girl like the girl being older it's never creepy when the girl's older as long as she's hot okay as long as okay. she's hot it's you know what this is this okay do you think that i'm hot enough to be the older girl that's <laughs> older i don't like the way this conversation is going this conversation is going very very <laughs> downhill very very quickly hey 14 years younger than me is not illegal so do you think it's okay if um <laughs> the girl is <laughs> no, 14 years listen uh -oh. listen i'm just saying no. if you know it can't be forever penis though like realistically with that age gap. It depends. I I don't know. It's weird. Like you never really know, right? Like, it's 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 a difficult thing, and that's why like the idea of a uh, older man or a younger man or something. You're just playing her video. Like a younger man with a baby. That changes shit too, right? Like <laughs> because that means that they're responsible because they got a kid or they got to be responsible. So maybe yeah. they need an older woman. Yeah. Right. I don't know. That's a, I, I don't like I don't like that kind of question. It's a weird question. <laughs> yeah, I feel like somebody's gonna take a clip of that and be like, "You support pedophilia?" Like, no, I don't. I will fucking no, kill somebody. No, it's not pedophilia. But you should make reference to like babies and young people. I'm like, uh, uh, oh wow, this is really weird. Oh no, Whoa, oh, no. I'm saying okay. So if there was like a young man who's interested in a woman of my age. But the young man had a baby, um, but he was like 14 years younger than her, than myself, or some other woman that would be such a man. Um, would he still be classified as super young? Like, he's not illegal, 22. Like, that's not, like, illegal. Cradle he's robber. super young. You're a cradle robber. You're a straight up cradle robber. <laughs> no, I haven't touched it. It hits on me. She just, I just, she just gave it a little, comment. gave it a little wave. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, I just haven't like disregarded the comments. <laughs> I just kind of might have sent a smiley face back or a blushing comment back. Oh, you! But I haven't regarded it. I was just questioning it. I'm asking you, friend to friend. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, because this it? is a private conversation we're having with all the. <laughs> it's private. So, yeah, we can talk about private it's things. It's a private conversation. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Like, it's, like you're not, you're not like four hundred years old, so it's fine. It's, it's, yeah. it can get awkward though, depending on how long that was. And like, I think so because this person has already displayed immature, situ, like behavior that I'm like, doesn't know who Montel Williams was. That I was like, <laughs> oh, that's. Uh, but. <laughs> listen, okay, listen. That's a different. But, I think you know what. But for the ladies out there, crazy hot. <laughs> like. All right. <laughs> well. But it's not forever penis material, so I am trying to save it for that. Listen, you you never really know, right? And that's that's the thing. Is, I don't think so. Well, that's not really nice. Comes off a little bit crazier than me. That's a lot of crazy. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of crazy. That's a lot. <laughs> right? Yeah. I need someone not so crazy. <laughs> like, well, listen, like, there's there's two sides of it. You could say cancy, crazy plus crazy could cancel each other out, possibly. I don't know. I've tried it on every other relationship that I've been in, and I'm still single looking for that forever. <laughs> so, so maybe crazy plus crazy negative you know, like it, positive, positive makes it, it negative. It just makes a whole lot of fucking yeah, crazy. It's cumulative and not and counterproductive. Yeah, well, not maybe that's a myth. It's a myth. <laughs> crazy plus crazy equals double crazy, not canceling each other out, guys. That is, you, no, you heard that here. Indeed. I've been dating since I was 16 and, you know, 20 years later and I would say that <laughs> crazy <laughs> plus crazy just equals a whole lot of crazy. You heard it and here. Heartbreak. Yeah, well... See, this is the thing is... Although, I do love them. I do love them. She's also in love with a drying machine, so... Yes, as you guys can hear. Bob the drying machine, <laughs> he gets it on a daily Bob's basis. Bob getting warmed up for me. Bob, <laughs> Bob gets nailed on a daily basis. Let's put it that way. Yeah, he does. I bake that man pies all day long. <laughs> I don't get pies in exchange for sex. <laughs> Let's be very clear on that. <laughs> um, I, no, I, but my forever penis will. <laughs> and sandwiches. Grilled sandwiches. So this and is strawberry the milkshakes. Men, Ooh, men. Strawberry milkshakes. Look, men <gasps> everywhere are like, I'm in. <laughs> The problem is, it's only the crazy the ones who are like, I'm going to go find her. And you're like, no, <laughs> no, stay in your seat. Yes. No. Come and get it. If you want it that bad, you will come and get it. I am sick of the ones just saying, oh, I like you from afar. Like me from here. I, we don't have time to date, so you better come and meet me. Ah. I've been flirting, although I've been flirting with somebody over YouTube because they don't know how to flirt. <laughs> I don't know if we've been flirting. Okay, flirting. let me just be very but clear. I no make one a go on over his there. Page. No one find her. No one hunt her down. That's not appropriate. You can send me stuff. You can send me. Flowers. You can send her stuff. You can send her stuff. That'd be nice. Um, just say hello. But say hello. Why not? I want to meet the people. How are we going to meet? You know, when it's not a pandemic is an idea maybe yeah um, if anybody kills my grandpa you're dead so that won't be a very good way to start off dating. that's how you want to start things listen if you kill one of my family members <laughs> i'm gonna make sure you die and that's i think that's fair that's a fair uh you get them boundary sick. for you're a relationship dead. is you can't kill any of my family members <laughs> well you can't get them sick yeah well you know. or kill them yeah i guess i think yeah understand. you you cannot be responsible for any of my family members deaths that is a bad way to start a relationship. Uh, unless, yeah. unless that was a really bad family member and nobody liked them. Then it's okay. But even Aww. still, uh, tricky, <laughs> tricky. Because what if you make a mistake? What if he has oh a twin? God. What if the bad one has a good yeah. twin and you kill the good twin? Oh. That's horrible. Do you think twins are cloning? Uh, already started? Well, Human cloning so already started? You, uh, have you read about the Nazis in South America? No. Okay, so... Like, I know that they migrated there. Well, yeah, from Germany. Like, uh, so there are certain... Yeah, so this was covered there. a while ago. Um, I think, actually, I was just watching the guy, uh, Tim Hook. I think it's Tim Hook. Let me double-check it. I want to double-check this quick, because uh, he was on Rogan, and he was telling about how 
he was uh, going into this stuff, trying to figure it out. Let's see here. Where are you? Where are you, you dirty, dirty man? There's, he had a female <laughs> Sorry, Tim, on there, a female doctor. Tim Kennedy. It's Tim Kennedy. Ken he, yeah, I watched Okay, that. so he was the one. He goes, like, there are cities in uh, South America that look Bavarian. Like, the houses look Bavarian. Everyone dresses Bavarian. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 like, out of time. Uh, and, like, these people, like, cherish their... Uh, ancestors or uh, you know people that have passed away like that were as cover your mouth no this is our advertising this is our looking for sponsorship you know what because she said it i'm gonna make sure if i can afford a billboard it's gonna be a billboard with the entire name coming out of her mouth she's like this, ah, 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 ah. that's what's gonna look like like say it's just our advertisement isn't it ah dick I don't care. Fuck it if it sells. <laughs> Good advertisement. Sexy. I'm going to change it to morning motivational rants. So on the end, it looks like an S is almost like the head of a penis. <laughs> Fuck you, okay, asshole? Anyways, so there's a whole thing. And then I have one on the side of his face going in there. Why would it go into the side of my with, face? With a black sharp because it's going to whip you in the face like you're its bitch. Anyways, so uh, there was there's essentially a town in uh, South America that is like almost all twins and triplets and quadruplets, and this was experimentation. You do you do it on purpose now. She doesn't need to like. Oh, she's like. I did. I'm just that tired. Just that tired. Don't do laundry in the middle of the night. It's not. <laughs> it's like wrestling with it it's horrible um, but yeah so there's there's. Uh, I forget who it was I don't think it was Goebbels it was one of the other guys that they experimented on twins because they thought twins were fucked up like that but now there's an entire why are you still laughing I'm trying to You said wrestling with it. <laughs> you know those like Mexican wrestlers. <laughs> I picture the luchadors. <laughs> yes, I am familiar. As one, <laughs> as one wrestling the dryer when you said that, <laughs> and like a turquoise wrestler. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. She's not sorry. <laughs> Let's be very clear. It's You're not, not sorry at all. It was so funny. It was so funny in my head. <laughs> like, She's trying to make it as if, like, it actually happened. Like, she got one and somebody brought it in. Like, in the middle of the night, like, they power bombed her dryer. I was like, Bobby, you will die! Cut hunt is mine! Ah! And they started attacking each other. I feel like that could happen. That could happen. Anyways, okay, yeah, no. twins I'm are sorry. twins are really fucking weird though. Like they, there are some yeah. really weird stories about twins that definitely freaks me out. <laughs> why, why do you hate me? I don't even why want do you, to look up. Why do you hate me? Why? What did I do now? I don't. What did I do now for this punishment? This new fresh hell. Oh my god! You didn't do anything for any punishment. I do no punishment. everything for the punishment. Because I am a sick... Yeah, he does. I am a sick, sick man. <laughs> I've basically just been crying and eating for days now. Um, Aw, Tino. I, I deserved it. It was an... I, I fell down the <laughs> no, stairs. I fell down the stairs, and I deserved it. I was... Crystal's, Crystal's a great person. And I... I she's, she's got a good heart. <laughs> Oh my god. I walked into the door once. She cared for me. <laughs> Don't fucking do that. Because those women's rights people, they're going to be like, he has rights too. I'm not, they I'm already not, don't I'm like not, me and their woman leader just passed away. Although we do send our respects to the Judge Ruth, um, the women's activist. Ruth Bader Ginsburg? person that passed away listen um, we do i'll be honest with you respect. she died i don't care i don't i don't really care you know why well anyway she's, in the state. she's not my judge it's not my president i don't know what i'm saying 
Anyways, <laughs> she debated that way women and men could be equal and blah, blah, blah. None of that makes stuff. any sense. So, men and women are not equal at all. Women no, should have never gotten the vote. No, that's not true. No. I honestly believe no. that women are significantly more capable than men. I think that they uh, have been put into between a rock and a hard place to become like men uh -huh. when what they need to be is more like women. That's my opinion. Uh, yes. And that, I'm not touching on any sort of like. We should just be proud to be women too. Well, you know how shitty like, it is why being do a we man. We want to be so much fun. You know how shitty it is being a woman. That doesn't make sense. Like, That's why really? I don't understand it. Like, why would why would people want to harm? Like, I don't get it. And that's what, like. I don't get it. It doesn't way. make any sense <laughs> to me. Like, that's your that's your significant other or the mother of your children or your sister or your mom. And you want to hurt them because what? What what reason could you have? Yeah. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I know why I beat I you, though. Know. I beat you. That's for sure. I'd kick the shit out <laughs> of you. Fucking asshole. I've probably been beat for more of the reasons than not my own. <laughs> Crystal, remember when we said how, like, some things, they're not that funny to talk about like that? Fuck, I'm just joking. God damn it. She's like, I got a screwdriver jammed into my larynx once. Like, wow! Wow! I probably deserved it. No! <laughs> no! Listen. You've heard my mouth. You've heard my mouth. <laughs> no. Listen. Sometimes people get out of line. <laughs> the response. Okay, I think this goes for I'm looking everyone. for lost cinnamon hearts and I can't find. Oh, I found one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of questions as to why there are cinnamon hearts in your bed, number one. But number two, tell me... Because I'm just, lonely just, and I eat candy in bed. Just tell, me, just tell me you didn't pour cinnamon hearts on one of the pictures you have of me and take a picture of it. Because that would be really uncomfortable. Um, the fact that you imagined that made it super uncomfortable. Yeah. Because, <laughs> no... That did happen, because that's really weird. <laughs> I'm really getting freaked out by this. Like, I see American <laughs> American Beauty, the picture with the rose petals, but, like, with candy instead. <laughs> and I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable at all. <laughs> I'm totally going to make that now. <laughs> that's my next baby. <laughs> you know when you can hear yourself talk and you're like, don't say that. That's a bad idea. But you say it anyway, and you're like, no, how can this go wrong? And then it goes exactly as wrong as the rest of your mind says it, and your rest of your mind is like, see, you shouldn't have said that. And you're like, yeah, I was stupid. I'm still drinking my chocolate water. Of course you would. It's always on sale at Walmart. Yeah. That's the best part is, like, it doesn't really have a normal price. It's just always on sale. Which, why would water go on sale? It doesn't go bad. Why does it go bad? It's very peculiar. There's a lot of questions. It does go bad. Doesn't it have an expiry date on these things? Uh, so it, what actually goes bad is the, um, the, bottle. the bottle itself. That's why glass is so much better. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't like glass on my teeth. <laughs> I'm just going to suggest this. You don't have to. Maybe that's not really the face you want to make into a camera. I just, <laughs> that's not, I don't think that that was what you want. To. <laughs> so to be very clear for those listening in, uh, Crystal decided to uh, jam her tongue onto various parts of her teeth from the outside inwards uh, while her <laughs> lips are extremely open. And it's very disconcerting. It's like, you know, when you feel the outside of your teeth, except she looks like she's trying to rip them out. From the front, um, it's very, it's very, it's, 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 it's mean. She's being mean to her own teeth. I don't know how to describe that. It's very. What? I was licking them. It really looked like you. My are, tongue is not It hard. looked like you molested your teeth. I'll be honest with you. It kind of looked. It kind of looked like you've been naughty teeth. 
and like, and then <laughs> they have been. They've been eating all this food. They've been eating. I don't, I don't think that's how eating. Somebody w- keeps commenting that they're too skinny, so they've been eating all this food. I saw your video yesterday. So much so. <laughs> she she. Which one? The one where you got in the got in your new car. Oh yeah, my new car. She proceeded to hit not one note of any Tina Turner song. <laughs> It was when he used it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It, not one. And she like, and the funny part is, a couple times she's like, she's so close, so close, and then brrrr, and go the other way. And I'm like, what is happening here? I, I wasn't like, trying. I have fun. I as you should. A doobie, I think you should. And I sing just for fun. I'm not trying to win win America's Next Top Singer. Next time here. <laughs> I think you could be skilled in a lot of other ways. I think you could run for. You could be the president, the prime minister. I think you. Could I do am that. going. This is another reason why I wanted to do my taxes. Is because I am going to run for prime minister of Canada. That's on my do shit list. <laughs> Maybe we can start small and just get you to be an MP. I think that's fair. Okay. Nope, I'm going to run for the Prime Minister of Canada. If Justin Trudeau can do it, I can do it. <laughs> I don't know what the answer is. I'd be I, better at I it. I don't know what to say here. I have more life experience. I think I'd make a damn good Prime Minister. I honestly think you would. I just don't think that's how becoming Prime Minister works. I think you have to start small and you'll go into the process. Well, that's why I'm doing my taxes. I'm starting small. I'm becoming legit. <laughs> I'm becoming legit. I figured it probably wouldn't be good if I haven't even done taxes since 2011 if I try to run for prime minister. So. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty fair. That's, yeah. So I thought I, I'd start there I feel too. like, though, you're like, I'm, I'm going to take the myself. first step and then I'm going to jump to step number 436. Like, she's she's like, hey, I'm going to do, That's how I roll. I'm gonna do this one step. Ha ha, do you know I took yeah. one step? And then, doo! She's like, and now I'm done. And I'm like. Who am I to hold you back? That's how I roll. I think you should do it. Why not? <laughs> I, pretty much every job that I've ever had, I've started off at, like, the lowest part, and then within, like, six months, I've been running the play. It's like... <laughs> and that's why I'm, I'm getting not. fired from my own podcast. Like, just, she's like, we started this, and I'm taking over. I'm like, okay. No. No. Actually, it started, I wanted to do my podcast, but then we recorded five hours, realized that I'm technical, technology retarded, and then I, Dino suggested that he wanted to do his own podcast, so I'm like, okay, sounds good. So, technically... <laughs> I sent her a bunch of equipment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> said, try this. <laughs> try this. She didn't try it, just so you guys know. She still does it her own way, every time. <laughs> and she's great for it. What are you it. talking about? <laughs> I do it his way. I got all his shit set up. <laughs> I had no camera or nothing when I wanted to do it. <laughs> all I had was my tablet, and I'm like, let's do a podcast, you know? <laughs> I, I love tablet. it. I loved it. <laughs> it was the greatest five hours of my life. I had a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> my wedding was the That's greatest eight hours of my life. <laughs> yeah. It's totally reasonable. Uh, I think it's reasonable. Hey, you have to spend the rest of your life with Victoria. You got to spend like a good 20 years with me. So. How long do you think I'm going to live, 18 lady? 18 years. I'm not. 18 years. This is our child. <laughs> this is so. I love my wife. I love years. my wife a lot. I really love my wife. Yeah. And actually, so we yeah. we've always wanted. To... I'm your baby mama. I'm not your wife. She's not my baby mama. <laughs> She's not my baby mama. That's not. That is not. That is not the right terminology. It's not. This is our baby. This is. Our... <laughs> Listen, Nurse Ratchet. Welcome okay, just calm mother. down. <laughs> She's like, this is mine now. I gave birth to it. You're like, uh, it's not really how it works. It's mine. It's mine forever. I'll let you see it occasionally. You're like, uh, what? Um, I. F- I went to that. 
<laughs> Maybe. She'd do that. It's not nice. She, I, we both know. We both know. Let's go on. I'm looking at the camera going, yeah, no. we know. It's, it's not nice to do that to people. No. See, and now because of you, I keep on getting hairs in my mouth. Thanks a lot. That didn't, uh, that didn't sound appropriate. But you have cats. That definitely didn't sound, sound appropriate. So it's explainable. No. I don't have cats, so everybody assumes it's pubes. <laughs> I don't have pubes either. It's actually just, just for the hair record. from my own mustache falling into my mouth. That's okay. what happens. That's really... It's not cats. So your mustache is so just... <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can't find my wax strips. I bought wax strips a while ago to do my eyebrows and stuff, and I had done them, remember, because I didn't wear bangs, and you made fun of me for my giant red foreman forehead. <coughs> so... <laughs> to be very clear, I called it a five head. That's what I said. I said, you have... <laughs> five head. So, my bangs have been back, so nobody's been able to notice, but I haven't waxed my eyebrows, so they're getting kind of like... Like... Hi! <laughs> What's yeah. up? Like the guy Shh. off of... Yeah. Yeah. So I... That happens. But I can't find my wax strips and I gotta do my mustache too or else I'm gonna start looking I'm, European like. I'm definitely what? sending you a fake mustache. I'm just gonna let you know that's gonna come in the mail. And... You want me to draw one on right now? Uh, honestly, I want... No, no. I want like <laughs> hair so you could like... A true... Like you would... Like a full... <laughs> okay. I want you I'll to sneeze it. and like... Oh. Yeah. Wait, we gotta wait till we get a boyfriend before you do weird stuff like this. I still have to be desirable. I still shave my legs, even because you never know when you're gonna run into him. You never know. Ah, speaking of shaving legs and boyfriends, <laughs> my ex messaged me again today. Yeah, that's probably bad. I know. Uh, I asked him if he wanted to make out with a car owner. And then he blew it because he's like, no, I'd rather have sex with the car owner. And I was like, oh, damn it. Um. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Because I'm not ready for that. I agree, I agree with <laughs> you. Because I was trying to flirt and have fun and then it made it yeah, like. Yeah, and then he ruined it. Men have to understand yeah. that if you go at a woman's pace, you'll go a lot further than if you're like, I just want to put my dick in you. That's not what they want to hear. They want to be romanced. Okay, that's how life works. Yeah. Add a little. Tell me, I'm pretty. The only problem is stuff. your your ex boyfriend watches this, so he's like, "That's how I'm gonna do it," and so you can't fall for his tricks. Which church. one? I don't think he does. He's the one that doesn't give me the time to watch it. He's the one that like, you know, try to get my business shut down and stuff. So like, <laughs> he, he doesn't waste his time watching our videos. I don't think, especially because we're 52 minutes in. He's long gone by now. But the other one, the crazy one, is probably watching it being like, that fucking guy, I'm going to go kill him again. <laughs> it sounds like you have a problem and a solution right there. <laughs> you just put them together. <laughs> Anyways, let's stop talking about this before something does happen. They're already happening. <laughs> it's like... It's a morning. It's time to motivate people, Dino. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Motivation <laughs> time. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> That's my motivation for today. Um, you know what? I That's a congratulations to the chef. It was good. It was eggs, bacon, and sausage. It was so good this morning. Oh, that I, would be so good. And I lost like five pounds. I only, I didn't, instead of eating, <gasps> I just cried. I just cried myself to sleep. So it was much better. Instead of eating my tears. My tears wow. smell like bacon grease. So they're delicious too. And, oh, uh, you got it. I like it. <laughs> um, morning motivation for today, guys. Um, I actually have started to get messages from friends asking me advice, <coughs> like relationship advice. Like, how do I deal oh. with this shit? And um, <laughs> you know what? I'm honored, number one. I'm honored. And uh, and I try and help as best I could. I like Because really, it's... There are... We talked about this yesterday. Is there's like, your <coughs> manness will be like... We need to handle this shit. But being a husband, you learn that you go, mm, not really. It's not, it's not worth it. Because <laughs> sometimes people go crazy. And then other times they have, a, they have a reason to go crazy. And anything you do, you're just, either you are the reason they're crazy or you're going to be the reason they're crazy. So <laughs> all you do is just stand there going, hey, <laughs> you just go, yeah, I'm just going to stand here. 
I'm just gonna stand here <laughs> and uh, and this is this is the problem is that you want to make sure that when when women do reach out that you don't attack because this is where a lot of people say hurtful things and um, they go overboard and and what you have to understand from their perspective is they're just trying to protect themselves from being hurt again and they are identifying you as the source of that hurt so when you attack them again they're like well fuck you i hate you right and that's why it's it's giving people just like hey you know someone like someone leaves your house in a huff let them come back and be welcome to their home too that was one of the big things that i've in my life has happened twice Three times, actually, three times, uh, with my ex-wife, once, we lived in my parents' basement, and I was still, I for a second, I almost didn't walk in, and I was like, no, I can't live life like that, and, you know, shit went off. Uh, it happened again, I was living with a, a co-worker, and uh, she was great, and she was, she was very um, uh, caring, and she's still a friend today, but... Uh, but there was one time where we had argued during the day over email and I was kind of like, oh, I just don't want to go home. Like, I don't want, I don't have to deal with this shit. And, um, I said, no, this is my home too. I have every right to be here. I'm walking in and you know what? And it was fine. And, uh, it almost happened like once living with Victoria where we had argued during the day and, uh, she was like, I'm right. And I was like, I'm right. And at the end of the day, I got home. I was the last one to come home, uh, and I was I was hesitant. And that's the thing is, when it's your home and you're afraid to go inside, that's that's a horrible life. And that's why is when you're dealing in a relationship, that's one of the big things is you should always welcome people home because it's their home too, and making it an unwelcoming experience. It really puts people's self-preservation instinct in overdrive. So they hate everything. They hate you. Now they hate this place. And that's a bad thing. It's And it's really important that we take the time to just kind of... Because people will say, oh, I have trust issues. Then start trusting. You know? One guy... This is the thing is, like, I know how, how simple and, and stupid it sounds. Like, uh, people with depression... I suffer from depression heavily. Uh, for for a very long time, I've had issues, and it all and you know what I've been working on it for years, and it really came back and kicked the shit out of me when my dad passed, and I still have problems with it today. Um, but I found ways to overcome my own insanity, ways to uh, motivate myself uh, that work just for me. They don't really work for other people, but. That's one of those big things is like being able to stand there and say, okay, well, what's going to, what's going to get me out of bed? There are days I don't want to get out of bed, but then someone will call me or someone will message me and I'll be like, well, I can't let that person down. And that for me was a big trigger to get me out of my, my own funk. And, um, that's the, one of the big things is that when you, people say they have these problems, like I have trust issues, then start trusting people. And accept the egg on your face when you trust the wrong person. Because that shit happens. Uh, and in the same sense, people will say, well, I have commitment issues. Then you should find something you can commit to to build up your resilience, your willingness to commit to something, right? And that's why it's like, you can't stand there and say, well, stop being sad and be happy. No, I can stop being sad, but you can't force me to be happy. You know? And, and that's why it's, it's negotiating that turmoil inside yourself that is so much harder because... When you were, say it to somebody else, it comes out that much worse. So just remember that, you know, two ears, one mouth. Talk less, listen more, and just realize that, you know, it's not always about you. There, are, There's always a different situation afoot, and that's what needs to be taken care of. I think that's all I have to say. Uh, Crystal, where can everyone find you? Simply me on YouTube Crystal Renzi, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And Dino, bah, 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 Laura Dino. Guys, Dino the Genetic Marvel on uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I have a fan page and uh, Twitter as well. Morning Motivational Rant. We are fucking everywhere. We're not, okay, we're everywhere. We're not fucking everywhere. Let's be very clear about that. But. We're everywhere. 
That is so creepy in my ears. Um, <laughs> Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast Podcasts, Radio Public, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook fan page. We're all over the place. Stay motivated, guys, and have a great day. Bye.